Today I want to show you uh, production tips on how to chop up a vocal and use it as an instrument inside of Logic. Check it out. So um, this is a work in progress. I'm not done with this, but um, I just thought I'm going to show you what I did with the vocal here. So I have this vocal line. And I've got this synth playing the same. And together it sounds like this. So just thought I can show you how I made all this. So this is the vocal that I started with. You promised you never leave. So it goes like this. Oh, wait. So, okay, so what I did, I tried to uh, find places in the vocal that I want to use. Leave. So I think this is a part that I can use. Um, let's see, any more? Promised you never. Maybe here. Ain't me. This one is nice. Okay. Let's see, is there any more? Leave. Leave. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use these parts of the vocal, these three. Okay. So now I'll have to auto tune this one so they're fitting a key. So, uh, I'm going to turn on flex, flex pitch, and just going to go in and edit the files. Let's see here, yeah, and I'm going to mark everything, and that pitch correct 100%. Let's see how that sounds like. Leave, ain't me, leave. Okay. So that's good. So then I'm going to mark everything. And I want to bounce in place because I don't want the flex to be working. Uh, I want it to be printed. So, okay. So now we got this. And I can get rid of this one. Okay. So I want to get this inside the sampler. So I right click and I go down to convert new sample track. So here you choose if you want to use the whole region. Um, or if you want to chop it out from the transit markers. Uh, we're going to have transit markers, okay. So what I want to do now, I'm going to get rid of this MIDI track and I'm going to go into the uh, sampler instrument, EXS24, open it up. Um, here we want to go into the edit. Uh, if you don't see edit, there's, you have to go into the preferences um, advanced tools and everything down here has to be enabled if not you won't see the edit sign on this plugin so we're gonna hit edit and then I'm gonna drag this and try to find it on MIDI keyboard okay this is one note uh -huh. and then drag the other one to see three and this one to C4. So then I change uh, the position C4. Um, this one is C3. And this one is C2. Let's see if this sounds more C2. Yes. Three. Four. Okay. That's better. And then I'll drag them out like this, and then I can start playing on them. Um, so now you can see that this is. And I also can drag it down here. <laughs> So now 
you go out and you have to save this. So now I can play on the voices. Um, and then I want to use a reverb. Uh, in this case, uh, I'll use a new slate reverb. So when you're done with this, you get this result. So it's... And then you may find a new instrument, a synth that you try to lay under. And that plays the same melody, and you get this. So now you get more your own uh, original sound using a uh, vocal track. And it's easy, you take it into the EXS uh, 24 sampler, and from there you just chop it up and you place it out and you can just play it on a keyboard. And then you can lay effects on, you can do very fun things with effects. So here I just have reverb, but we can also try to uh, do different things with it. Let's try to uh, give it a bit of distortion. And maybe we can uh, put on filter. And also tremolo. See that in track. So you just add you just add more textures to the sound and more you tweak it and more interesting the sound gets. So this is a uh, short tips on how to take a vocal, put it into a sampler and then start working with it. Uh, and also when you pitch uh, the sound, just like we did, you get uh, like a different kind of instrument that's fun to play with. So if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button and I see you in another video. Take care.